Welcome back. Holy crap, you're, you're all back here again in, in Drum Blanket's house. Yeah, so we're waiting for cupcakes from Sayori. Sayori. You haven't gotten them cupcakes yet? Oh, she's... Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited when Drum Blanket's around. Then how about I tape? I make some tea as well. Ugh. You can have it. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sarah mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Stomping around. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little ass. Cats. Little cats. That's not frosting. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Aw. So cute! <laughs> uh, Monica, nose. right, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking that, Suki. Uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Why does Natsuki have fangs? Because she's hot. Fangs. She's a cat. Siri grabs one, grabs one first, then nom, Monica. Nom, nom, nom. I follow. It's delicious! Certainly, it's certain. I love kitty cat cupcakes. Sayori talks with her mouth full <laughs> and has allegedly. Oh, I've been the guy. Let's start over. <laughs> Sayori talks with her mouth full, and I might be too, <laughs> and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to bite. To there, take a there's bite. no good angle. Yeah, they're all you... the same. It's the same, right? Natsuki is quiet. <laughs> I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She wants to fuck. Yeah, she She's wants to take, to take a, a bite, bite of you. Right? That's what those fangs were about. Uh huh. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I. Uh. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? No, made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori so said, Well, maybe. But not for y you, you, dummy. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I give up with a Natsuki's weird logic. Woman logic. The conversation. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Oh god, no, please. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in That's the bathroom? Oh, you. yeah. <laughs> See, this is confusing. It's so confusing. They're like, show me her, and then it's just, here's dialogue. Yeah. Come on now. All right, well, that's how I said it to her. Yeah, that's... that's I'm making fun of you're her You're making indirectly. fun of her. That's what you would do. <laughs> Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. Pinch oh, the yeah, nose. me again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her talk get intimidated. <laughs> You're just trying to push you. <laughs> she just came back from surgery. Uh, that's, that's not... Insulted. Yuri <laughs> looks away. I meant that, you know? I believe you. She's tall. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, <laughs> I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I should tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Give me the cupcakes. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> she should be embarrassed. 
<laughs> we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty <laughs> to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. I'm disgusted. <laughs> How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like something but I got a way about the budget and publicity. <laughs> How I prepare for events. <laughs> I suppose we're going to be maintaining a bit of a... She I must like, have to take something I personally enjoy she and make like, something special out of it. She's like Swedish chef. <laughs> board, 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 board. <laughs> Get friendly, froggy. <laughs> and if I encourage just others to get in the letter trip, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader sometimes. Yuri also nods in agreement. Mm. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club, right? We, we killed them all. I mean, they left. You could put it that way. So many people are interested <laughs> yes. in putting on all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't get your attention. Like literature. Or heard C cups. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Whoa! But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can. <laughs> if you need to change your voice, that's fine. Nah, I'm good. Okay. I'm confident that we can go around all really grow this literature club before we go into Wait, it's it's. it's, it's, it's <laughs> Mind everyone? <laughs> yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Mm -hmm. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Sucking my wingus. Speaking of, which one are you sort of drawn to so far? Uh, either Yuri or Monica, even though Monica's voice is terrible. Which one's Yuri again? This one with the purple hair. Ah, uh, the tall girl. Psylocke. Psylocke, yeah. Okay. Young Psylocke. All right, cool. But she looked at me. She's like, you're eating my cupcake. She's small, mm -hmm. which I'm into. I like, I like, you know, Shorter chicks girls. that are smaller me than too. me. I do too. Makes your dick look huge. When I first played this, I went with pink hair. Oh, really her? You yeah, went with her? I went with her. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Yuri worked hard to keep her tits in her shirt. I, yeah, she did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> maybe. maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Lay off the crack. So Trump like it. What kinds of things do you like to read? Hentai. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Menus and Menus. street signs. Yes. <laughs> Mine too. Manga. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, it can Manga. be. Manga. Manga. Both are correct. Manja. People are screaming at me right now. I mutter quietly to myself, <laughs> half joking. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly oh. perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. That can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, uh, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Hmm. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri babbles on. on incoherently. <laughs> Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up. That she finds her com that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. <laughs> Lie. St 
stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of an imi- your own lack of, of imagination to completely throw you for a poop? <laughs> Whoop! <laughs>